Welcome to class 11 physics for uh, HSC CBS and ASC and this is chapter 7 motion of uh, system of particles or jet body uh, today we see class number P56 equations of rotational motion plus 1 physics equations of rotational motion there are three equations of rotational motion uh, you remember tau is equal to alpha we have studied uh, i is equal to by alpha or tau is i alpha tau is i alpha is an equation for rotational motion similar to second law of motion neutrons and uh, these are uh, these equations are called these equations are also called equations of motion and these equations are similar to the equations we have studied uh, in velocity acceleration chapter that is v is u plus at s is ut plus half at square v square is u square plus 2s if we replace u by rotation velocity omega 0 v by rotation velocity omega and uh, acceleration a by angular acceleration alpha we get the following equation so you remember the three equations of rotation or the three equations of rotational motion are number one omega is omega 0 plus alpha t number two theta is omega 0 t plus half alpha t square number three omega square equal omega 0 square plus 2 alpha theta these equations may be derived as follows so you remember in these equations uh, omega 0 is the initial angular velocity omega is the final angular velocity alpha is the uniform angular acceleration and t is the time theta is the angular displacement you see what are the terms omega 0 is the initial angular velocity number initial velocity u in the variable atran term in the good angular and the work here the omega 0 is the initial angular velocity omega is the final angular velocity alpha is the angular acceleration which is uniform t is time and theta is the angular displacement these equations uh, may be derived as follows first equation right the omega is omega 0 plus alpha t the first equation is omega is equal to omega 0 plus alpha t. Let your body rotate with constant angular acceleration alpha about a fixed axis. If omega 0 is the initial angular velocity at t is equal to 0 and omega final angular, final angular velocity after a time t is second by definition. Angular acceleration is a is equal to delta omega by delta t d omega by dt in the world. Angular acceleration dv by dt acceleration agna pole angular acceleration alpha is delta omega by delta t. Here delta omega is omega minus omega 0 change in angular velocity and time interval delta t is t. So alpha is omega minus omega 0 by t cross multiply uh, alpha t is omega minus omega 0 we get uh, omega is omega 0 plus alpha t. Now Second equation average angular velocity we define as omega average is omega 0 plus omega by 2 angular displacement of theta is average velocity average angular velocity due time that is theta is omega average into t that is omega 0 plus omega by 2 into t substituting the value of omega for equation 1 we get theta is omega 0 plus omega 0 plus alpha t by 2 into t you go to omega 0 plus a t into t by 2 you remove the bracket that is uh, theta is omega 0 t plus half alpha t square the third equation we square the equation number one as usual in the, in the velocity acceleration uniformly accelerated motion we have studied these methods here it is omega square is omega 0 plus alpha t first equation we square on both sides a plus b square in the arches omega 0 square plus 2 omega 0 alpha t plus alpha square plus t square that is omega 0 square from, from the last two terms we take 2 alpha outside inside we get omega 0 t plus half alpha t square which is uh, which is from second second equation theta the term in the bracket the bracketed term is theta from second equation so omega square is omega 0 square plus 2 alpha theta which is the third equation so the formula to be remembered the equations to be remembered are omega 0 is omega 0 plus alpha t 
theta is omega 0 plus uh, t plus half alpha t square. Omega square is omega 0 square plus 2 alpha theta. And V is omega. When we do problem, usually this V will also come. V is called velocity or linear velocity. R is radius of rotation. And omega is the angular velocity. Here there is a simple problem. You look here. What is the problem? The radius of a wheel of a car is 0.5 meter. The car accelerates from rest up to 30 seconds with angular acceleration of 1.5. Radians per second square. In this time interval, calculate angular displacement of wheel, linear distance covered by wheel, linear velocity of car. That is a question. If you wheel or and the radius is 0.5 meter car and the acceleration is 1.5 radians per second square alpha and time 30 seconds. If angular displacement is linear displacement is linear velocity. So, the initial angular velocity is omega 0. It just starts from rest. Angular displacement after T, theta is omega 0 t plus half alpha t square, put the value, 0 into half, time is half, uh, not a half, time is, uh, time is given, it is 30 seconds. So half alpha t square, half into 1.5 into 30 square, which is, uh, which is 675 radian, theta is measured in radian. Radius of wheel, 0.5 meter linear displacement V is R, uh, S is R theta. You know, S is R theta. Or oh, theta is R by S. That is 0.5 into 675, 375.5 meter. Angular angular velocity after time t, omega is omega 0 plus alpha t, 0 plus 1.5 into 30, 45 radius per second. Linear velocity V is R omega. In this case, that is 0.5 into 45 into 0.5 meter per second. Next problem. The moment of inertia of a body is 2.5 kilogram meter square. Find the find the necessary torque to produce an angular acceleration of uh, uh, 15 radians, 15 or 18, uh, 18 radians second, uh, second uh, raised to minus 2 in it. Radians second raised to minus 2 at angular acceleration meter per second square angle. We radian side with angular as well. The moment of finish of a body is 2.5 kilogram meter square and the necessary, find the necessary torque to produce an angular acceleration of 18 radians, second raised to minus 2 in it. We would have alpha under, i under, number torque karnam, moment of finish is 2.5, angular acceleration is 18, torque to i alpha, 2.5 into 18, that is uh, 45 Newton meter. 45 Newton meter. This is the angular moment. We have to do the relation between torque and the angular momentum. This is the principle of the principle of conservation of angular momentum. This is the principle of the principle of the principle of the principle of the principle Equation number near the apply it on a toss zero and angle, yellow quotient diagram, other than the principle of conservation of angular point on the barrel. This relation we have seen previously, deal by it is uh, tau. If tau is zero, it is a constant which is actually the principle of conservation of angular momentum. This relation now we prove you look here, rate of change of angular momentum of a particle is equal to the torque, deal by dt is tau. That is a relation. Tau is dl by dt. F is dp by dt. Tau is dl by dt. F is dp by dt is the Newton second law of motion in, in translation. 
and tau is divided by dt is newton second law in rotation this is the newton second law in rotation that will be proved here angular momentum l is equal to r cross p differentiate del by dt is equal to dr by dt into p plus p plus r dp by dt we apply the product formula in differentiation or it is actually not required r is a constant so we can write dp by dt in that manner we can write if we take r is a constant here we have taken del by dt is equal to dr by dt into p plus r dp by dt here r uh, dr by dt is v velocity and momentum are in the same direction so its cross product is zero or you simply say the first term since r is a constant the first term is zero dr by dt is zero dr by dt is zero in that manner we can write so zero plus r cross dp by dt f r cross f is tau so tau is dl by dt that is all in that manner we can write and the two questions here is define equations of rotational motion derive equations of rotational motion three equations and uh, obtain relation connecting torque and angular momentum that is all with this class we continue our class thank you very much